It's thrilling to be able to see something that's never been seen before. This emission that we're seeing is, is thermal emission. Yeah, even on the night side, the surface of Venus is so hot that it's, it's glowing uh, uh, faintly at very red wavelengths. These whisper images, I think, are really exciting because they provide a new window into the lower atmosphere and surface region of Venus where these extreme conditions exist. Venus often called Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition, is one of the most mysterious planets in our solar system. Its thick, toxic atmosphere, crushing surface pressure, and extreme temperatures have made it an inhospitable yet intriguing neighbor. Over the years, various space missions have attempted to pierce the dense veil of Venus's clouds and capture images of its surface. These real images, though few and challenging to obtain, have provided a fascinating glimpse into what we actually saw there, revealing an alien landscape unlike anything on Earth. Venus has been a source of human fascination for centuries, capturing the imagination of civilizations across the globe. Known as the morning star or evening star, Venus is the brightest object in our night sky after the moon. Its brilliance and regular patterns in the sky inspired countless myths and stories, and it was often associated with love and beauty in ancient cultures. Despite its alluring appearance, Venus remained a mystery for millennia. However, the dawn of the space age in the 20th century gave humanity the tools to begin uncovering its secrets, starting with the Soviet Union's ambitious Venera program in the 1960s. Venus is often called Earth's sister planet due to its similar size, mass, and proximity to the Sun. However, any resemblance ends there. Venus is a hellish world with surface conditions that are extraordinarily hostile to life as we know it. Its dense atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide, creates a runaway greenhouse effect that traps heat and drives surface temperatures to over 450 degrees Celsius, 850 degrees, hot enough to melt lead. Adding to its inhospitable environment are thick clouds of sulfuric acid that perpetually shroud the planet, reflecting nearly all sunlight and making optical imaging from space nearly impossible. These harsh conditions posed significant challenges to early attempts to study the planet up close. The first successful flyby of Venus occurred on December 14, 1962, when NASA's Mariner 2 spacecraft conducted a brief but groundbreaking study. Although it did not capture images of Venus's surface, Mariner 2 provided humanity's first direct data from another planet. It confirmed the extreme temperatures of Venus, measured its thick atmosphere, and detected no significant magnetic field. This was a pivotal moment in planetary science, as it validated the feasibility of interplanetary exploration and laid the groundwork for future missions. The Soviet Union soon followed with the Venera program, the first series of missions designed specifically to explore Venus. The thick atmosphere presented a unique challenge, as traditional imaging methods could not penetrate the dense cloud cover. Nevertheless, the Soviets achieved several historic milestones. Venera 4, launched in 1967, became the first spacecraft to successfully enter and transmit data from the atmosphere of another planet, revealing its chemical composition. Subsequent missions, such as Venera 7 in 1970, marked another breakthrough when it became the first spacecraft to land on Venus and transmit data from its surface, albeit briefly. These missions provided critical insights into the planet's crushing atmospheric pressure, which is over 90 times that of Earth, and the corrosive nature of its clouds. In the decades that followed, both the Soviet Union and NASA continued to refine their methods of studying Venus. Radar imaging, pioneered by missions like NASA's Magellan spacecraft in the early 1990s, allowed scientists to map Venus's surface in remarkable detail, despite the planet's opaque clouds. These maps revealed a landscape dominated by volcanic plains, vast plateaus, and unique geological features, such as coronae and pancake domes. Venus remains an enigmatic world, with many questions still unanswered, including whether it once harbored oceans or conditions suitable for life. Recent discoveries of potential biosignatures in its atmosphere have reignited interest in exploring this fiery neighbor. 
The lessons learned from past missions underscore humanity's determination to uncover the mysteries of our solar system, no matter how challenging the journey may be. The Soviet Union's Venera program was the first to achieve the monumental task of landing probes on Venus and transmitting images back to Earth. These missions marked a significant milestone in planetary exploration. Venera 7, 1970. The first spacecraft to land successfully on another planet, Venera 7 transmitted data from the surface of Venus for 23 minutes before succumbing to the extreme conditions. While it did not carry cameras, it paved the way for future missions. Venera 9 and 10, 1975. These missions became the first to capture black and white images of Venus's surface. The images revealed a desolate, rocky landscape with sharp-edged stones scattered across the ground. The surface appeared to be made of basaltic rock, suggesting volcanic activity. Venera 13 and 14, 1982. These landers provided the first color images of Venus's surface. The photos depicted a reddish-orange landscape bathed in dim, diffuse sunlight due to the thick atmosphere. The surface was littered with flat, fractured rocks and evidence of volcanic plains. Venera 13 also recorded the first audio from another planet, capturing the sound of Venus's harsh winds. The Venera images painted a picture of an alien world where temperatures could melt lead and atmospheric pressure was equivalent to being 900 meters, 3,000 feet, underwater on Earth. Despite these harsh conditions, the Soviet landers operated for over an hour, far exceeding expectations. Given the difficulty of capturing optical images through Venus's thick atmosphere, scientists turned to radar imaging to map the planet's surface. Radar can penetrate clouds and provide detailed topographic data. Pioneer Venus, 1978. NASA's Pioneer Venus Orbiter used radar to create the first global map of Venus's surface. The data revealed vast plains, highland regions, and what appeared to be volcanic structures. Magellan Mission, 1989-1994 NASA's Magellan spacecraft revolutionized our understanding of Venus by using synthetic aperture radar to map 98% of its surface with high resolution. The radar images revealed a world dominated by volcanic activity, with massive lava flows, calderas, and pancake-like domes formed by viscous lava. Magellan also identified a lack of tectonic plate activity, suggesting that Venus's crust behaves differently from Earth's. The radar images from Magellan showed that Venus is a planet shaped by intense volcanic activity and periodic resurfacing events. These findings hinted at a dynamic geological history, with the planet's surface being periodically repaved by volcanic eruptions. The real images and radar data from Venus have provided a detailed, if surreal, picture of the planet's surface. Here are some of the key features observed. Volcanic Plains Most of Venus's surface is covered by vast plains formed by ancient lava flows. These plains are relatively smooth but punctuated by volcanic features such as shield volcanoes and lava domes. Highlands and Mountain Ranges Venus has two major highland regions, Ishtar Terra and Aphrodite Terra. Ishtar Terra is home to Maxwell Montes, the highest mountain range on Venus which rises about 11 kilometers 7 miles above the surrounding plains. Craters Impact craters are relatively rare on Venus as the planet's surface is geologically young, with an estimated age of 300-600 million years. The thick atmosphere also prevents smaller meteoroids from reaching the surface. Coronae and Tesserae Unique to Venus, coronae are large circular features thought to form from upwelling magma. Tesserae are highly deformed regions of the crust with a complex tiled appearance, likely caused by intense geological stress. Color and Light The real color images captured by the Venera landers show a reddish-orange surface, likely due to the scattering of sunlight through the sulfuric acid clouds. The lighting is dim and diffuse, creating an eerie, otherworldly ambiance. Venus's atmosphere plays a significant role in shaping its surface appearance. 
the dense carbon dioxide atmosphere creates a runaway greenhouse effect, trapping heat and leading to the planet's extreme surface temperatures. The sulfuric acid clouds not only obscure the surface but also contribute to the chemical weathering of the rocks. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is about 92 times that of Earth at sea level, equivalent to the pressure found nearly a kilometer underwater. This immense pressure compresses the rocks and alters their physical properties, contributing to the planet's unique geology. In recent years, interest in Venus has resurged, with several missions planned to revisit the planet and uncover its remaining mysteries. NASA's Veritas, Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSAR, Topography, and Spectroscopy. Scheduled for launch in the late 2020s, this mission aims to map Venus's surface in high detail and study its geology. NASA's Da Vinci Plus, Deep Atmosphere, Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry and Imaging. This mission will focus on Venus's atmosphere and is expected to capture high-resolution images during its descent to the surface. ESA's InVision, the European Space Agency's mission, will complement NASA's efforts by studying Venus's surface and subsurface with radar and spectroscopy. These missions will build on the foundation laid by the Venera and Magellan missions, providing new insights into Venus's geology, atmosphere, and potential for past habitability. The real images from Venus, captured by the Venera missions and radar imaging, have given us a tantalizing glimpse of an alien world. Venus's surface, shaped by intense volcanic activity and extreme atmospheric conditions, is both hostile and fascinating. Despite the challenges of exploring such an inhospitable environment, our efforts have revealed a planet that is both similar to and profoundly different from Earth. As we prepare for the next wave of Venus exploration, the images and data from past missions serve as a reminder of humanity's ability to overcome immense challenges in the pursuit of knowledge. What lies beneath the clouds of Venus remains one of the greatest enigmas of our solar system, and future missions promise to bring us closer to unraveling its secrets.